everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clean and lubricate your cube. And I know I had done one of these videos before, but I think that's just the quality of that video is just way too bad. So again, thank you for my friend Ethan for letting me borrow his cube. What? Again, this cube is pretty dirty inside. So things that you will need first, some paper towels, and then some lubes of your choice, um, a cup that you will be never using again because there might get lube inside, a toothbrush, and I advise strongly that you do not use the toothbrush in your mouth ever again because there are some accidents. And I think this is a hotel that, um, a toothbrush that we got from a hotel which I'm probably just gonna throw away after. And then last, I'm just gonna also give Ethan his a Q bag. I think this is new, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a Q bag. So it's always nice to uh, store your cubes in your Q bag. So for example, these sticker cubes, the stickers won't be peeling off easily. So let's get right into it. So usually I will be uh, putting all the pieces inside a um, cup like that and then fill it up with water. But since this is a sticker cube, I don't want all the stickers falling off. So uh, let's just first take off all the pieces right now and I'll just have that. So my desk doesn't get that dirty. Um, wait. Dude, this cube is very tight. Okay, is there? Okay. There we go. So after you take out all the pieces, oops, that just fell. All right, that's all the pieces taken out, and look at that core. That is pretty dirty, not gonna lie. So, first, we will be getting some water. All right, so after you got your cup of water, we will, okay, this is the steps that I'm going to um, do for this cube. First, I will be cleaning everything with a, the toothbrush with water. And then I'm going to clean the core. And then probably lubricate the core. And then last, I will be putting it back and lubricating all the pieces. All right, so let's get started. What we are going to do is just dip the toothbrush inside the water so we get a little bit of water. And then we are going to rub off all of the black parts of the cube. Look at that. So you see there are a lot of black parts here. We are just going to rub it off like that. Look at that. That looks way better. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like your toothbrush is already really um, already gray or black, you can just dip it in water again and then do this to all the pieces, including the uh, black parts. So here will be a great time lapse of me fixing up all of Ethan's pieces. All right, ju guys, just look at how dark the toothbrush is already. All right, everyone, I have finished cleaning all of the pieces and it took about 10 minutes, which is quite a considerable amount of time since all of these are just 
are just really clean. Like, look at that. There's like little particles, but it's way better than all the black dots on here. So next I am going to rub all of the um, centers like that to get the dust off there. All right, and then the last two. All right, that should be good. Now, let's get into lubing. All right, so for lubing, what I like to do is first assemble one layer and then lube the core, and then um, assemble two layers and then lube the pieces, and then at last finish it up. So, all right. We should be, okay, so I'm going to start by the uh, white face. All right, guys, so we have the cross complete. All righty, guys, there we go. We have the, what I like to call basic structure complete. Now we can just lube the core. Like that. So lube is for the places that the pieces are going to be contact with each other. So there we go. There we go. And then all right, so the core is completed by now, and then now we can just put on the second layer. All right, second layer complete. Let's move on to the third and final layer. So what I suggest about doing this is first do an edge and then you will be able to do the corner next to the edge, edge, and then just move on from there. So now we have that. And then now we will do this corner, like that. And then now I'm going to do that corner. And then last I'm going to do one of the last edges, so I'm gonna do this one. So now I want to lube the parts that will be making contact with the puzzle. So, for example, right here, I'm going to use probably the Mohi lube. And then just gonna put it here because I think it's gonna make contact. And then do some on here and then we'll be putting it in like just like that and don't be afraid if you um, have any trouble with putting it in because you can always just do lube it like the inside first and then you can put it in so for this I'm just gonna lube that part Oh, shoot. All right, the last edge will be a bit difficult, but I think that's pretty good. So now we are going to put all of this aside and we're going to do a bit of testing. So we still do have these loops right here handy. The cube is not lubed at all. Whoa, actually this is not lubed at all. Like, all right, so I'm gonna first put some of that in there. 
I think this cube almost like never gotten lube in its lifetime. Maybe the factory lube, but uh, again, I think Ethan told me this is like a really old cube. I think this is the error, but magnetic. It's not the error M, but not the error SM. So, we're just going to scramble the cube right now to break the lube in. See, it feels way better. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of Moe lube because this thing speeds it up a little. All right. That should be good. And if you are a, uh, if you lube a cube frequently, then you don't need to put as much lube as I was because I think this cube is really under lubed. So just a couple more drops. All right. I think Ethan will be very happy with how. Oh shoot. Yeah, that's the problem with putting too much lube out at once. You just get everything flown out. There we go. This is way much faster. Oh my goodness, this is way better. All right, so what I am going to do right now is do one solve. All right, so that example solve. Whoa, this cube feels literally amazing. Like, seriously. Whoa, this is very fast. Compared to the, uh, compared to before, this is really fast. All right, I think this is good enough. Look at that, that is way much better. And off camera, I'm going to adjust the tightness because look at that. What the heck is that? But, uh, all right. I think this is a very, very great one. All right. That's pretty much it for this video. I thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.